Hello all you people out there in TV land. My name is CV Studios, also known as Kurt, and today we're keeping the ghost face spam rolling. Hell yes we are, how could we not? Today I'm coming to you with another review, another look at a new Fun World mask. Now we've looked at a bunch of them over the time here. We've looked at stuff like the Pride mask, the new scary movie masks. We've looked at the chromes. We've looked at the 25th anniversaries. But one that we haven't looked at is something that is not an original ghost face mold. Not an ultra white mold, not the hard plastic mold, not the EU mold. No, we're looking at something that's a complete ground up sculpt. Now, as many of you will know, in the Ghostface collecting sphere, uh, we do have many, many, many talented makers who do create awesome Ghostface sculpts. One of those is an English gentleman by the name of Burke Bench Designs, Clive Barzilia. Now, one of the cool things that Clive had done many, many moons ago is he had sculpted a KNB style mask and then re-sculpted over the top of it to make it resemble a jack-o'-lantern. A carved jack-o'-lantern Ghostface mask. That sounds awesome. Last year, Clive actually got sniped up by Fun World themselves and did some designs for them specifically. One of the things that Clive was involved in was making a mass market version of that mask, of the pumpkin mask, giving us the pumpkin ghost face. Now, this was one of the products that came out last year, 2022, and is one of the ones that I was super, super excited to see. It looked like a really, really cool design, and it looks even cooler in person. In fact, it was so cool, I had to get two. Oh yeah. Now, as we can see with this mask, it's orange. It's actually molded in orange plastic. I'm going to give you an overview at the production of this mask, and how it looks, and why it looks the way it does. Some interesting things about it, and give you an in-depth look at this one. Now, much like the 25th anniversary chrome masks from 2016, the devil face from Dead by Daylight, and the standard hard plastic ghost face mold that you've seen as part of the costume sets, the Scream 5 stab ghost face. Uh, you've seen that repainted for a bunch of the mask designs, stuff like the Pride, the Patriot, and the Ukrainian mask. Uh, this is an injection molded plastic, hard plastic mask. Now it's, it's very rigid, which is awesome. It holds its shape amazingly. It's molded in this really vibrant orange plastic, which is great. It's got some airbrushing details down the sides, and it's got that really cool sculpted mouth, really, really nice small nose, and uh, really, really cool eye details. Now there's no eyeliner around the eyes. It is just orange. Uh, we have black paint applications in the mouth and the nose. And aside from that, we've got our standard polyester shroud on this mask. Now this one is tagged, it is a pumpkin or citrouille, because uh, I can't speak French, so that's fine. And this little guy, we are an April to June 2022 manufacture date. Now both of my pumpkin masks are that same production run. I got these from costumebox.com.au and I bought them last year. Uh, I don't know if they still have them in stock, I don't think so. But they will be showing up, I'm certain, in this 2023 holiday season. Taking a look at the untagged one, flipping the shroud inside out, we do have the interior of the mask, and it's fairly straightforward. We have eye mesh glued around the eyes, we have an elastic strap to hold it onto your head, uh, we have no paint apps on the inside, and no padding. Now I will touch on this in just a second. One of the other interesting production facts about these hard plastic masks is the shrouds are glued on. They're actually not sewn on like they were originally with the 25th anniversary chrome editions from 2016, those collector box set ones, and the original devil face, as well as the original white hard plastic mold. They were all stitched on. Now, gluing them down makes a hell of a lot more sense. You get a much more consistent application around the outside, and you don't get thread pulling through this hard plastic stuff. Uh, also, on those earlier masks, they were only stitched down to about here, and then the shroud was loose until there was a single stitch down in the chin. Now, I mentioned that there was no padding inside this mask, and that's where my first complaint, and really my only complaint with this mask, comes in. Uh, this is the most uncomfortable ghost face mask I have ever worn. Hands down. Hands down the least comfortable piece of ghost face merchandise. Uh, because of the way that this is sculpted with its nice slim lines and somewhat smaller of a mask profile, um, it sits really uncomfortably on the side of my jaw and on the top of my forehead. My face doesn't fit deep into this and that's where this sculpt starts to fall apart just a little bit. It's really flat. 
There's not really a nose peak in here at all, so your nose gets squished up against the mask. Uh, there's not a lot of depth to it, but it does look really cool. And it does look great as part of a full robe set. I really like this design. Just before we get to the beauty shots, I want to show you one of my favorite facts about this mask. It is the dumbest thing in the world, and I am an absolute child for it. Um, we have these gorgeous carved-in pumpkin lines. Uh, we've got one straight down the middle there. We've got, like, right up through the middle here. We've got two on the side, but they've got to converge at some place. It's under the chin. It's a, it looks like a dick. That's fun. That's, that's a very, that's a very fun, it's a very dumb part of this mask. And you know what? It gives it just that little bit more charm. I have a feeling that was done intentionally. That's pretty funny. So there you go, guys. That is the pumpkin mask from the Ghostface range from Funworld. Uh, it is a really, really cool mask. And it's nice to see that Funworld is starting to do more unique sculpts for these sort of masks. We haven't really had these style masks uh, sculpted and released. Uh, since basically 2016 or 2017, whenever they brought out the Skeleface masks. I really enjoy seeing these. They're, they're really, really neat, and I'm very glad to add them to my collection. Uh, they're going to look great around Halloween, hence my Halloween drinking team shirt from uh, RuckusTees.com. He's down the bottom here. Uh, amazing merch. Go and check out Ruckus' stuff. For now, I'm going to go pop these back on the shelf. I'll give you some beauty shots at the very end so you can see how these guys look. They are really, really cool masks. And if you like this style of mask, I really recommend picking them up. Thanks very much for watching, guys. And uh, this Halloween, always always check your masks for, for dick chins.